The Nesmic Trio is dead. It's outdated. We shouldn't even be talking about this still. Or should we? I, of course, being a classic camper and historical camper, I personally believe that the Nesmic Trio or the, the Kephart Trio still has a valid place in outdoor recreation and adventure. And I'm going to explain why. The first thing, when it comes to pocket knives, you know, just about everybody should have a pocket knife when you go outdoors. Even if you don't have a belt knife, even if you don't have a hatchet, a pocket knife is going to be your number one tool when you need it, whether it be carving something, cutting rope, maybe doing some type of first aid when you're digging out a splinter or something like that, or, or even hunting. You gotta take a pocket knife. You know, this is like one of the old time scout essentials you need one. Now, depending on what you're going to do with it, then that's more of a personal choice. Uh, Kephart and Nesmic, they believe in taking a two-bladed pocket knife. I think two-bladed pocket knives have their place, especially if you are going out hunting and getting your own game. Like both of those gentlemen, historically speaking, that's what they went out and did. They went out in the woods and they got their own food, right? Today, most of us really don't do that. Unless we're really going on a fishing trip, we're not you know, going out and hunting. Now, of course that changes depending on what you're doing, but for the average person, you know, having a two-bladed pocket knife may not be the right tool for the job. Then comes in the scout pocket knife or even the Swiss Army knife. The scout pocket knife is pretty basic and Kephart, he, he didn't really favor the scout pocket knife, but I think it's because he's a man of his times, right? And it's new. Old men, they have a hard time with adapting. So the scout pocket knife generally has your regular blade, primary blade, usually has a can opener of sorts. It has some type of screwdriver and bottle opener and an awl. This is the predecessor to the Swiss Army knife. Now the Swiss Army knife has way more gadgets and really takes up just about as much space. So a Swiss Army knife could replace this one here. Again, we're adapting to our times. But having some type of bottle opener or can opener is really important, especially if you are taking goods along with you, so you're not damaging your blade or you're just not slamming it against a rock or something crazy like that. But also having the ability to fix your equipment, like using the awl of a Swiss Army knife or a scout pocket knife is really important and possibly one of the most underutilized, so least used or most underutilized tool of this knife. Then comes your belt knife. Now, belt knife, personal preference, okay? But everybody should have some type of belt knife when you're going out hiking or on an extended camping trip because this is your workhorse. Sure, your pocket knife is gonna be in your pocket and you wanna keep this really, really sharp for doing some finer tasks, but this is what you really probably going to be cutting your rope with or you know making points or doing some type of bushcrafting or pioneering work where you're you're trying to build something right so having some type of belt knife is really important pick one out that suits you your style and what you like and your needs okay but belt knife still relevant i think the most contentious point then out of this trio is the hatchet is the hatchet out Dated. Is it something that your average camper, bushcrafter, scout, or whoever, hiker, really needs? Some really prefer taking a saw, and I have no problem taking a saw. In fact, when I'm doing bushcrafting, where I'm actually building things, I kind of prefer having a saw because I get those nice, clean, precise cuts that I want when I make something. You could do it with a hatchet. Man, something looks really sharp with having a nice, clean, saw-cut piece of wood. Not necessary, though, okay? So, is the saw better? I think the saw is better in those applications only because of its cleanliness. I disagree that it's better with maintaining because I'm already taking bladed items. So I'm already gonna take some type of pocket stone with me to maintain, to keep them sharp and keep them the edge strong and going the way it needs to go, which works fine for having an ax or a hatchet. 
But when it comes to a saw, you really need to have files and all those teeth. Uh, they're precise, they may have to uh, be bent or a tooth could be broken. It's a lot more to maintain with a saw in case something does go wrong. Whereas even if I get a chip with my hatchet, it may take a while, but I can get the chip out and regrind my hatchet a lot easier than a saw, generally speaking. You know, unless I hit a big rock or a chunk of metal, it's not going to take enough of a chip out of this hatchet. That's going to take me a long time to repair. So, personally, I think having some type of chopping implement, whether it be a hatchet or maybe perhaps even a machete or some other type of wood tool, works better than having a saw. If I'm going to take one or the other, it's going to be a hatchet. I also, I mean, it just looks cool, but I like having the pole. You know, if I'm hammering down stakes or I'm putting in pegs, having that pole of the hatchet, that's pretty sweet. I don't have to try to search around for a piece of wood that's not punky, that's going to hold up when I start whacking on it and it's going to disintegrate or break apart on me. Having the pole of the hatchet and use it to tamp down stakes is really nice. Okay, so I hope this helps you in making a decision or giving you some other things to think about as a modern or contemporary camper and maybe along the same lines as the historical campers that came way before us with their wisdom. So ultimately, it's your kit and you're going to do what works best for you. So what works for best for me here in Ohio may not be the best thing for you, but I guarantee you a pocket knife and a belt knife is important. You should definitely have those, okay? If you want to see uh, more videos about the axes and hatchets, then check out this video here. If you're interested in seeing more about the pocket knives, then check out this here. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Give a kiss hug to your loved ones, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.